spent time with Reza Pahlavi a couple times, the son, in D.C. We've had a meeting together. We sat down. We talked about his father. We did a Zoom a couple years ago, and we've spoken. Hey, you should have him on. You should have him on. You should have him on. And he's out there, very you know, eloquent, great speaker, does a very uh, good job. But the, the audience is 50-50. If you look at his social media, it gets a lot of people, gets a lot of commentary. He gets a lot of people that still follow him, you know, uh, uh, very loyal to his messaging. But what what is the perspective of Reza Pahlavi's, you know, his son, RP? Uh, how do the Persian Iranian people view him? Any one of you guys can take this one if you're... Well, I live in L.A. Okay. So uh, L.A. leans toward more monarchists but there's also a lot of people like me who aren't aligned or affiliated with any group ideology or person we just want freedom for iran and i know um some some of the people in his camp have said look he just would like to be a part of the democracy and in an election mm -hmm. and if they vote for him great and if they don't it'll be somebody else so there's kind of different camps and there is definitely split support that's what i've seen Oh, yeah, where is he? yeah, I agree. Uh, when uh, last couple of times he cleared his vision about, you know what, I want to be a citizen. And if people wanted me to run the country, no problem. Uh, then you guys selected, right? This made the, so much clarity for people that are thinking like only King, only Reza, only Reza Shah is coming. This, this way, now people know that we talk about absolute democracy. Absolute democracy. When regime change, Everybody vote on what they want to do. I don't know. You guys I are think, all being very diplomatic. Here. I think. Let's I see think. Gonna... <laughs> I think it's more fifty-fifty because I don't know if the younger people feel he can relate to their pain, because he's lived in America and and you know I think the generation that knows his father more they're probably saying oh we would like that back, but the younger generation I don't know. I'm not 100%. I would agree with that as well. You don't know if the younger generation, which is mm -hmm. very valid on why that would be the case. Well, listen to their chance too. The younger generation is just saying, freedom, death to the dictator, death to mm -hmm. the regime, don't be scared, we're all together. So that I just feel like if we listen to their chance, we can hear what they want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Freedom, secularism, secular democracy, but there's not one person's name. So some people say it in Iran, but yeah. the majority are not saying one person's name. It's kind of like, for example, we moved fo to Florida, right? And I was ta having a conversation with Sia and then we, we talk about California, how we miss California, but we miss California um, post COVID because that's the California we know. California is different for us now because we're so used to Florida. Yeah. Are you kidding me? And I feel like, for example, the older generation remembers how Iran was with Shah and Pahlavi, all of that. And they're hoping that comes mm -hmm. back. But is there a connection with the youth? Is he making, is RP making connection with the youth? Or whenever there is uprise, that's when he shows up. That's the whole question. Got it. So, you know, some view as an opportunist. Hey, come out here, say a few things. Some say... No, we want him here because we'd like to go back and see what Iran once used to be. The chance of Iran going back to a monarchy is slim to none. It's not It's not going to be a monarch. The only thing that's going to happen is, a. again, my opinion. I'm just talking from my perspective here on what I'm saying. Uh, uh, democracy is the only, uh, uh, in order for him to take it back to monarchy, I feel you can't be disconnected for 43 that's a long time mm -hmm. for it to happen again so again no one knows you, you'll see what will happen if it comes down to the election that's who they want it is what it is if it doesn't it won't happen I think John people experienced 1400 years ago Islam oh, yeah. that's enough for them mm. they don't want to go experience 250 years ago monarchy yeah. again it's time for democracy and freedom for uh, but what does democracy look like I what hope is we it? find out. How do you live here? No, I understand, but think about forty-four years of oppression. How do you gradually do that? Right. How? How? how what does it, it look take? like? And how long does it take? Because it's gotcha. not going to happen overnight. Oh, think of about course, it. Of course, it's not it going to happen not. overnight. Of course, it's not going to so happen overnight. It's going to take a while. Yeah. But it is possible because it's different type of movement this time than the green green movement. And Green Movement, I feel like, I actually was in Iran when that happened. I got to Iran two days before the election mm -hmm. with Ahmadinejad and Musavi. And it was 
when I, when we landed, we, we were out of the airport in Tehran at 2 a.m. and we're driving through the streets and everybody's out dancing. There's green everywhere because that was the color of the movement, music. And I was like so shocked. I asked my family, I was like, this is happening here? This is legal right now? And they're like, well, yeah, it's before the election. So they want mm. everybody to feel this energy and everybody really felt energized. And then we all saw what happened. It was a rig rigged election, obviously, and yeah. went to Ahmadinejad. But those, and I was there for the couple weeks after. So I saw what happened, but it did kind of get quashed pretty quickly. This one has sustained and it's showing no signs of slowing down, especially because we're talking about different sectors of uh, businesses now joining together um, to protest. So that's one big difference. Uh, another one is like how young the people are that are engaged and moving this forward to like teenagers were saying, you know? I just haven't seen it be this sustained because we've had protests happen. But Aubon happened. That was the November, bloody November yeah. in 2019. 1,500 people that we know of were killed. Um, and then that, because the internet got throttled and cut off and the world wasn't paying the attention it is now, that also got quelled really easily. And this one is not. This one's growing more. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.